Good evening and thanks for joining us. We know all of you are having to adapt your lives to cope with this pandemic and we are too. I'm now working remotely broadcasting from a balcony in North Vancouver near my home. That's downtown, nice and sunny uh, behind me. All of us at Global News are social distancing because of COVID-19. Now to the major developments. All the provinces except one have declared either a public health emergency or a state of emergency. U.S. Canada border closes at midnight tonight. And here's the big picture on numbers. There are now more than 260,000 reported cases of COVID-19 around the world. There are more than 11 <laughs> people have now died from the virus. There's also a Canadian virus in Japan for traveling. In terms of cases, today we hit a grim milestone. More than 1,000 people have now tested positive in Canada. That includes at least 11 who have recovered. The bulk of the cases are in BC, Ontario, Alberta, and Quebec. There were 77 new cases in BC, 50 in Ontario, 49 in Alberta, and 18 in Quebec. Every province has detected the virus now, though there are no confirmed cases in the three territories. Officials there have joined every province except Nova Scotia in declaring either a public health emergency or a state of emergency. Now, those declarations mean different things depending on the region, but generally, they give officials more powers to protect the public. Just today, Saskatchewan announced that anyone in that province who violates the self-isolation orders will be fined $2,000. The federal government could also invoke the Emergencies Act, giving it sweeping powers. That has not happened yet, but Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says nothing is off the table. For now, he's urging Canadians to stay home and slow the spread. As Mike Armstrong reports, the federal government is supporting Canadian manufacturers to adjust and accelerate production of medical supplies. It is an all-hands-on-deck call from the federal government. Any company that can help with the fight against COVID-19 is being asked to step forward. We want to be over-prepared, and one of the ways to do that is to build a domestic capacity and mobilizing our industry to do so. Canadian companies that manufacture things like masks, gloves, and ventilators are being told to ramp up production. Meantime, companies in other industries are being asked to look at retooling. Can they shift to making medical supplies? The list of needed products is long. After days of intense negotiations, Canada and the U.S. have agreed to close the border effective tonight at 11.59 Eastern. Any travelers trying to cross for tourism or recreation will be turned around. Trade and commerce will continue. Keeping supply lines open and food and medicine moving is a priority. Truckers entering the country don't have to self-isolate. They are all being checked as they cross the border. They are Hey, Roy Ski. Nothing much. What are you doing? I'm having a delicious cup of coffee. Mmm, I just had my coffee. How's the book? Oh, it's, it's really good actually. Yeah, Solzhenitsyn. It's uh, on the Jordan Peterson reading list.